In branching out, Dennis finds a very small imperfection in a perfect environment and that triggers a snowball effect and it takes him upwards. So this is a way of getting Dennis to go up and cope with those time challenges. And the reveal would make a nice tree, but it wouldn't be an organic tree, but it's a crystal tree. So again, it's a play on the ice theme, keeping things crystal. And the idea for um, Dennis coming home in Home Sweet Home was to show that even home was gone. In post-apocalyptic stories, they're often about walking through a ghost of society that defined mankind. Dennis would return to his house thinking that he could actually come home. And yet even, even home is a lethal place. Gaspacho Mountain was actually my chance to kind of make things move in an autonomous way. It was showing the mechanics still working. It's the, the echoes of what used to work. And the absurd result of decades or hundreds of years having passed is that these machines are still going and still spitting out this produce. And so you literally traverse mountains of gazpacho soup. I really wanted to get a mechanic in there that, that created focused light or refracted light that concentrated heat along a thin beam and melted everything above it. So the action was fighting against time before everything melted down to the ground. One idea was to get a level to bring together all of the famous world monuments, all the nations together, but smashed together. So it's kind of a unification of the world's tombstones, if you like. And it's quite good fun to slice these things up and move them through tectonic plates and eventually create some kind of Frankenstein of unification. The content update was really a chance to look on the bright side. It's a way of looking at such a bad situation in a, in a really nice light. It turns a bad thing into a good thing. It's quite a dark subject. If there is no hope, then really all you can do is look on the bright side and ending on a high. <laughs> oh. Roland 808 drums, some cymbals, and a spring reverb unit on a guitar amp were used to make the sound of exploding humbuckers. 